To begin, you'll need two sprite sheets. The first sprite sheet will be of the player character, and the second will be the sprite sheet for your vehicle of choice. This can be a car, bike, or animal. For the sake of brevity, I'll be using an edited version of the Boko sprite from Final Fantasy V. We will be creating two ways for allowing the player to ride a vehicle. Create a new variable and label it is riding. In the Systems Manager, go to the Common Reactions tab and create a new common reaction named Summon Mount. We are going to create a mount that can be summoned from the player's inventory. Underneath the Block Hero Reaction option, right-click in the empty space and select New. Under the Structure tab, within the Advanced Options, click on the Script button. Add the following two lines of script and hit OK. The script we just entered will close the main menu. We want this to happen, otherwise the rest of the commands may not work properly. Under the script we just added, right-click New and once more in the Structure tab, find the Syntax options and press the Condition button. While still in the first tab, choose the IsWriting variable we made earlier and set it to equal to zero. In the lower left corner of the window, press the Add Else When Conditions Do Not Apply option, then hit OK. Under the If statement, right-click New and press the Move Object button. In the far right column, press the Change Graphics button. Make sure your vehicle sprite is loaded into the left column, then select it and hit OK until you are back in the Common Reactions window. Under the Change Graphics command we made, right-click New and press the Script button again. Add the following line of script. This will make it so that the player will move much faster while in or on a vehicle. Hit OK. Under the script we just added, right-click New and in the Structure tab, press the Change Variables button. Select the Is Writing variable and set it to 1. Hit OK. Under the else statement, do the exact same steps as before, but make the following changes. When using the change graphics command, select the original player sprite sheet instead of the vehicle sprite sheet. When adding the script to change the walking speed, set the value to 1 instead of 5. Finally, set the is writing variable equal to 0. Now hit the OK button to close the System Manager. Open the Data Manager and select the Items tab. Create a new item that the player will use to access their vehicle. Name the item and give it a description. I suggest putting the instructions on how to equip unequip the vehicle in there. Change the item type to Key Item and make it consumable. Under Target, select Ally and make it available from the main menu only. In the Effects window, right-click New. While in the Set Effect window, Scroll down to the Call Common Reaction option and select it. Then select the Summon Mount Common Reaction. Hit OK. To make sure everything triggers correctly, right-click on the map where you want the player to acquire their vehicle and select Edit. Under the Time tab, right-click New and change the Is Writing variable to zero. Add a new state to the map, then right-click again and in the Map tab under the Objects Interactions options, press the Change State button. Change the state of the map from 1 to 2. Make sure to select Replace and hit OK. This is a safety precaution to ensure that the is writing variable starts at 0, but doesn't keep getting set to 0 every time you enter the map. You now have a vehicle the player can access from their inventory. If you want to make it so the vehicle can only be accessed from the map, Follow the steps from before, but instead of using only one condition, use two. Set the first condition to check if the isWriting variable is equal to zero and leave the else statement blank. Then in the second condition, check if the isWriting variable is equal to one and leave that else statement blank as well. Don't forget to change the variables at the end of each condition. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, or leaving a comment down below. This has been Sid from Digital Container, and I hope to see you next time.